Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I obviously have no makeup on today because what I thought I would do for you, I look so awful. I think I mentioned in a video or I mentioned somewhere that what I do on camera in terms of my own makeup is absolutely not what I would do in real life. On camera, I wear two different foundations, two different concealers, a highlighter, then a bronzer and a contour and my brows and all this other stuff because I know on camera your skin with all the lighting and everything can look potentially like this. <laughs> so you know, you need to cover up. But actually I use about two shades darker on my face on camera because I've learned that if you use your own shade on camera, you look really pale. Just cause the lights, white lighting, which is what the LED lighting is, brings out everything. So what I thought I would do, some of you mentioned what is your everyday routine then if, you know, what do you do? So I thought I'll do it with you guys today and just have like a general chat with you. This wasn't meant to be like a yes style haul, but, or thing, but um, the products I use every day are Korean. In my everyday skincare is Korean skincare. My makeup is Korean makeup. Um, I love Korean brands. So this is with Yes Style. A lot of this is gifted because I'm lucky that I get things gifted from Yes Style, um, but it just means that I use it every single day. So I wanna show you my daily routine of what I would do. I hope it translates on camera because I might just sit here looking like this still afterwards. <laughs> Before we get into that, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist, not just here on YouTube, but also in real life. It's my real job. And it's my goal here on YouTube to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really, really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you're be interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, let's crack on, let's get into it. So of course I would do all my skincare, everything like that. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is this Peach Glow Makeup Base from Peach C. This base has literally changed my life. I am very, very oily to a point where I can put foundation on and then five minutes later, it looks like it's slipping off my face. But at the same time, I really love a glow to my skin every day. And this is exactly what this primer does. It gives almost like a holographic glow, but I find with most like highlight creams like this, they kind of have this layer that just kind of sticks around on your skin. Whereas this one sinks in nicely. It doesn't feel like I have product on my face. It still has a glow, but isn't sticky and oily. And also it smells like peach, almost like a peach um, pie, do you know what I mean? So now at this point, this is when I use my brow gel. I use just the MAC um, Basic Clear Brow Gel because um, it's the best one. <laughs> and I like to comb through my brows going upwards, just like normal. Then I go in for a little bit more and then I'm gonna go against the way my brows grow. Same again this way. I even go through my scar there. That's a scar for anyone who's wondering. And then I'm gonna leave my brows a mess like this for a little bit. <laughs> so the idea for me with this, and I find this as well when I'm doing models and clients, if I want like a nice bushy brow, is I let it set going against. So it kind of like sticks up like this. And then I'll go back in once it's dry and then I'll brush it into a position that I want it to be in with more brow gel. And then it kind of sticks a little bit more. I find with my brows that are really thick and just kind of do whatever they want, it's really difficult to keep them in, in a nice position. So if I'm doing really big dramatic eye makeup, I'll always start with the eyes first, but I start with the skin first when I'm doing my own makeup. So, so I'm gonna grab my Peach C Honey Glow Cover Cushion just before I bring this on camera. It is a mess. I do use it every single day. <laughs> you can see there's fingerprints all over it. Um, and I've lost the cushion inside. I think I lost it at work. Um, and you'll see there's like a little bit of product on the lid, I'll explain why in a minute. So this cushion is slightly too light for me, but that is exactly what I want it to be at the moment. So guys, this technique, I think I've shown you it before, I can't remember, but honestly, it is, it is changed my life. So the primer from before, even more primer, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit on the product here. And then I'm gonna use a dry beauty blender. The reason I'm using a dry one is because I've lost my sponge for in here and I kind of need the firmness to dig into that cushion and mix that primer with the actual product. And then I'm just gonna use this on the center of my face. So I use this almost as a base to cover the redness first. I'm very red around my cheeks and my nose. So I use this to kind of cover that. 
and you can see, I get up all in my eyes there, you can see it is slightly too light, but we are gonna go over it as well. But as well, mixing in that primer just gives it the nicest glow. Guys, I would never use a dry sponge like this, usually. This is the Morphe sponge, it's incredible when it's wet. <laughs> so I'm still keeping that nice shine to my skin, that nice glow that I like. I honestly don't mind looking a little bit shiny. I just don't like looking oily or sweaty. That's my issue. I just totally remember as well, I have these new brushes from um, Yes Style from the brand Pony Effect. Um, they have a little logo on there and they're really cute. They're new, I don't use these every day, obviously because they're new, but I wanna use them now because I haven't yet. So now I feel like all my redness is like, kind of covered. As I said before, I'm a very oily, oily person. So my favorite powder to use every day is the Cashmere Powder Compact. And this is from a brand called Besame. Um, if you live in the US, you are very, very lucky that you can easily access this brand. Besame is a beautiful, beautiful company. The whole feel of it is obviously this whole vintage feel, even the packaging. There's like lipstick colors that are based on actual years, you know, different centuries, different decades, centuries, different centuries, and different decades. But I just absolutely love this powder. So I'm gonna go with my new powder brush over the top of everywhere I just was. And just get a nice even coverage of powder. And you can still see on my nose, I still have that slight shine and glow to the skin even though I'm powdering. I love a powder foundation because I'm oily and I like to feel that really like tight feeling on the face, if that makes sense. This brush is so soft. And this powder as well is one of the only powder foundations. Is it even meant to be a foundation? I, mean, I don't know if it's meant to be a foundation, but it does have a good coverage. And it's one of the only powder kind of products that I've worn on my face where somebody said that my skin looks amazing. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna carry on using it, and if that's the case. Sorry guys, I had just had to change position slightly because I'm sitting on my floor and my legs are hurting. So I still like to use a lot of cream products after powder. So I'm gonna take Fix Plus. This is a limited edition one. Um, and it was like a peony fragrance, but so I drenched my face in it and then just let it dry. The reason I'm using Fix Plus and not a setting spray, a lot of people use Fix Plus as a setting spray, but let me just tell you something. <laughs> it says setting spray on it, but back in the day it never used to. It helps set because it has glycerin in it, but unlike other setting sprays, let's say for example, Urban Decay, um, all nighter, which I'm kind of on the fence about now. I was against it a few videos back. Um, Maybe I'll explain another time. The Fix Plus kind of changes the texture of your foundation a little bit, especially powders, whereas the other ones kind of freeze your product. So I want this powder to become more of a creamier texture, so I have wet it, basically. And this is actually a trick I use on everyone who's wearing powder foundation. I will whack it on your face and I'll build it up until you look like a matte, no feature, just kind of flat thing. And then I'll drench your face to Fix Plus and then we'll fix it from there. I'm so sorry, I had to keep changing where I'm sitting because I'm in so much pain. For my concealer, I use this one from Laneige. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called the Cushion Something. I will leave a link below. I'll leave a link below to everything. This is the shade 23 Sand, which I find I am in a lot of um, cream products sand. So this one has a normal kind of concealer applicator. And then on the top, if you take the top lid off, there is the sponge there. Sorry, it's messy. It is again, a product I use. And one thing I really like about this, and this is really something like, really small, is that the tube is squeezy. So when it comes to trying to get all that product out, I can literally, you know, squeeze it around there. I don't use concealer as heavy as maybe someone else would. I use a little bit there and a little bit here, and that's all. Just because my under eyes can get quite caked up and quite creasy and liney. Um, and I certainly don't have as much time throughout the day to be touching it up and making sure that, you know, that it hasn't creased. I'm just gonna take the sponge on the end of this. This sponge is actually really nice. It's not too firm and also it's not too um, soft either. So you get that bounce, but then also you get the blending. And I just blend this in place here. I find I look the most tired outside and inside corner of my eyes. That's mainly because that's where blood gathers and that's where you get discoloration. So I blend that in place. I don't take any across my middle of the eye here. And I know a lot of you, if you watch my videos, you would hear that's a tip I use all the time. Concealer across the whole way because then I start to get creases and you start to get those fine lines that appear out of nowhere under the eye. I do like to take my concealer slightly down 
the edge of my nose, I just like to brighten it up a little bit, make it look a little bit smaller, you know? <laughs> this is a really good coverage concealer. I think when we think of Korean um, makeup, we think really natural, really lightweight. But this one has a good coverage and it's matte as well. That's what I really like about it. It has a really nice natural matte finish. It's not dry, it doesn't dry out under the eyes. But in the way that it's matte, it also seems to have this like blurring effect. So with now, I haven't put any extra product on, I'm just kind of taking what's ever left in that sponge and just gently taking it across the rest of the eye. Now onto the rest of the skin. Apologies that this product is a mess, but again, it's my everyday product, so it's gonna be a mess. This is the Pony Effect Butter Balm Foundation Palette. Butter Balm, it's like the perfect description for this. The textures in here and the kind of finish is just absolutely, oh, because it's so messy. It's so incredible. So you open it up and it slides open like this. This is one of my absolute favorite brands, Pony Effect. It's almost like you're using an artist's product because everything comes together. Everything is all, you know, um, usable and blendable and all this kind of stuff. So you have your foundation here, concealer, contour, highlight, and this is like um, a smoothing balm, like a smoothing primer. Oh my God. I totally forgot to use it. I always use this one around my nose here because I get really crusty and really dehydrated. And I always put that one in and now I'm just really annoyed. Anyway, amazing if you have like um, textured skin around your nose. Anyway, too late, I've, I've, I've lost it. So I do usually use my fingers, <laughs> but because I have some new brushes, let's try them anyway. And it's pony effect and pony effect. Look, it goes really nice together. So I'm gonna take a powder brush into this contour. And I don't like to heavily contour. I only like like a tiny subtle bit of color just to kind of like hollow out that cheekbone a little bit. And then because my face is quite long and I like to make it almost seem rounder, I bring my product here and I kind of cut it off there. My face, I mean, when I say it. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see if that's, you can actually see that on camera but I kind of cut my face off at this angle. Before I had that um, peach C cushion, this is a foundation that I would um, use to kind of neutralize my redness first. And I never really use a color corrector. I don't really use a green color corrector for my redness. I just think that something with a yellow tone, which um, yellow sits next to green in the color wheel, so it also cancels out redness. So I just use something I already have that isn't gonna um, take too long to cover. And I always take contour, almost like from the corner of my eye and up like this. Just because I find it lifts the outside corner of the eye and then also blends in with your um, contouring that way. And I go just around the corner, round the side of my hairline here. So I'm gonna take the highlighter as well from this palette and I'm just gonna touch. The way I like to highlight is wherever catches light um, on my face. So it's always for me about here, there on my nose, tip of my nose here as well and just above my brow. And then I'll just go ahead and blend that in. I don't like um, a crazy, crazy highlight on my skin. I really don't think it's necessary. Um, I like my skin to look luminous and like it has a glow, but I like it to look like it's glowing because I have healthy skin, not because I have something on my skin, if that makes sense. <laughs> and I always just get the top of my lip right here. Just under the brow bone here too. And again, the texture of this product, especially, I think sometimes we forget that our fingers are one of the best makeup tools. When this product is mixed with your body temperature and the heat coming off your skin, that um, it turns into this really, really creamy, like it says, like buttery texture and just blends so nicely on the skin. So I usually use um, a clear eyeshadow base on my eyelids, but what I want to do today is I got this from um, Blessed Moon. I want to say blessed or blessed, I don't know. I'm dyslexic, I can't read words properly. And it's basically like this whole kit thing. And when I saw this on Yes Style, I was like, I really need to have this because I love, um, ooh, I love like an all-in-one 
artistry kind of situation. So this comes with a black pencil and a brush, which I'm not gonna use a black pencil. It's mainly this that I, I kind of think would be really cute to carry around. Um, and it opens up and then you have a few little things in here. This is so cute. So this is like a foundation concealer. This is for the cheeks. You have these two for the eyes and then you have this here for the lips. So let's do it. It has this little mirror in here. You know, this reminds me of those really kind of old fashioned lipstick cases. So I'm gonna use my free new brush as well from Pony Effect. So what I like to do with my own makeup in particular is take something a little bit lighter and then I'll use that on the inside corner just here. I think with my own makeup, I like to play with light rather than um, just shoving a load of stuff on my face, you know? So I'm going to tap the lighter colour onto the centre of the lid here and onto the inside corner. And this is definitely a product that maybe you could actually just use with your finger. <laughs> That's lovely. That just kind of brightens up the lid a little bit. I quite like my eyes look tired when I'm doing my makeup, which is good because I'm tired all the time. So I'm going to take that pinky brown tone just under the eye. I'm just going to kind of buff that in with my finger. These are all really nice, creamy textures that you can just blend in really easily. Cute, I like that. I love that tired look. I'm just going to put a little bit through my socket here. And use my new blending brush here just to buff that out. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I think this could be one of my new favorite things ever. Oh, like an Oprah, my favorite things. Okay, let's finish up these brows. So I'm gonna go in back with my brow gel and now comb them back into place. Guys, I really like that color under here. I love it looking like, um, yeah, like I'm sleepy. Mm. Okay, now I'm kind of rolling my brow gel upwards. So this brow has always been particularly annoying because of the scar. So I know my brows are never gonna be symmetrical, which I kind of come to terms with. So my brow pencil is of course from Pony Effect because it's great. And this is a brow definer. What shade is this one? Deep brown. Um, because it's the closest I could get to black. I don't like using pure black in my brows. I, I just think it looks unnatural. So I always start from underneath here, of course. So I've never really um, covered my scar because it's scar tissue anyway, and it's really difficult to get product to sit on it. But also it makes this eyebrow look about 20 times thicker than the other eyebrow. <laughs> and then to finish up, that's pretty much it. But I just take some block tissue <laughs> from 16 brand because I like, um, I like the shine on my face. I just don't want it in the middle of my forehead here because to me that looks a bit like sweat. This is really cute. It's almost like it comes out and you can close it and then rip it. But I'm literally just gonna use that very, very gently in the center of my forehead here. And then in these like little bits here. So that is it. That is my everyday makeup routine. It takes a lot quicker when I don't talk through it. Um, but that's it. I like glowing skin. I like a tiny bit of sculpting on the face. Not too much, not too much color. I like my eyes look slightly sunken, even though I wish it would look more awake, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and then my brows just nice and feathered up and a little bit shaped. So I will leave a link to everything I use down below. If they still sell it, if not, I'll link to something similar. Um, but all of this was gifted by the way, just so you guys know, apart from my face powder. Anything that wasn't yes style, I bought myself basically. I love this. This is such a cool find. I'm so happy. I'm actually gonna order more because they had different colors as well. You can also get them in like pink packaging. It does come with a little um, brush. Um, yeah, I like this. As I said, I'll link, leave a link to all the products below. So the link is an affiliate link, just so you guys know. And also, if it is your first time purchasing from YesStyle, you can use my discount code ROBERT10 for 10% off your first purchase over £39 or more, I believe. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.